What is up, Packer fans, football fans out there watching and listening? Guys, what is up? So with the Green Bay Packers question, are they hanging on to one of the worst receivers in the league? You might be saying to yourself, Jason, are you serious? We're talking about rookies and sophomores. What on earth are you talking about? Well, it's not me that's saying that. It's Paul Noonan of Acme Packing Company. So I've read two articles this season so far from Acme Packing Company that has just sent me over the top. I'm so frustrated and pissed off when I've read a couple of their articles. This is one of those cases, guys, take a second to subscribe. Okay, so let's get into it. When I first saw the article, I was thinking like, okay, like, is this dude talking about Christian Watson? I know Christian Watson has been super disappointing and frustrating. I had a lot of high expectations as well as the Packer organization, I'm sure has had a lot of high expectations for Christian Watson. Is that who he is talking about? I mean, I've even talked about Christian Watson recently of just like how disappointing he's been in the red zone. You know, he's been a terrible target for the Packers. He just doesn't come back for those 50-50 balls. He doesn't win those guys. So who is Paul Noonan talking about? Guys, let's take a second to watch a video of the guy that Paul Noonan is referring to. And they're having success. Love on first down. There's a flag. Oh, look at the concentration. Romeo Dobb over his shoulder. Yeah, you know, that does look like one of the worst receivers in the league. You're right, Paul. Are you kidding me? So, guys, I, I'm just, I was so floored when I read that and, and saw that because I've always looked at Romeo Dobbs as a steady target for the Green Bay Packers. Let's look at let, the article. Let's see what he said. Okay, so he says, Dobbs' six receiving touchdowns has tied him for fourth in the NFL behind Tyreek Hill, Stephon Diggs, and Jordan Addison. I would say good company right there. But I wouldn't count on his touchdown scoring acumen counting or continuing in the future, at least not at this rate. While it is possible to excel specifically in catching touchdowns, as Devonta Adams has done over the course of his career, Dobbs' gaudy total is partially a result of every other Packer receiver being terrible around the end zone. While Dobbs is merely bad, those throws have got to go somewhere. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you're saying all of the Green Bay Packer receivers are just terrible around the end zone. I don't think that's the case. Okay. So I think you're a product of your environment. Okay. So you, it comes down to coaching. And if you're not scoring in the red zone, I don't think it has to do with uh, the lack of the receivers getting open or any of that stuff. It has to do with play calling. That's simply what it breaks down to is play calling. Let's go on to, to read more of what he said. He says, if you ignore the touchdown total, it quickly becomes clear just how bad Dobbs actually is. There are 59 players in all positions who have received at least 50 targets so far this season. Dobbs ranks 47th in yards per catch with 10.4. The only other, the only wide receivers below him are Michael Pittman, Adam Thielen, Tyler Boyd, Elijah Moore. Those are great names. Um, most receivers who average such a low total with at least... Uh, with the least catch of high percentage of their targets. But again, it's Dobbs. This is not the case. He ranks 55th of those 59 players with a catch rate of 55.9% ahead of only George Pickens, who averages much better 17.2 yards per catch. Hollywood Brown, 10.9. Also terrible. T. Higgins, 12.1. T. Higgins is all, like, whatever. Nuke Hopkins, 15.6. Note that Christian Watson does not have 50 targets, so his 42.4% catch rate does not appear. And in all, only more Brown and running back Alvin Kamara have the lower yards per target than Dobbs. I'm sorry, does yards per target make up a wide receiver? Again, your product of your environment. Matt LaFleur has had a very conservative play call to date so far. He has gotten better over the last couple of weeks, but for a while there, Jordan Love wasn't throwing more than four yards downfield. So of course, yes, Romeo Dobbs has caught most of them, has been a target of most of those because he is a reliable target. So when you are in third or fourth and short, you're going to, to your uh, most reliable target most times. And that has been proved that Romeo Dobbs has he's gone up there he gets those 50 50 balls he comes back for balls let's let's continue to read on what he says about Romeo Dobbs so he says 
uh, on every receiving matrix we have Dobbs is one of the worst receivers in football. He doesn't catch enough targets for someone who completely lacks explosiveness. He isn't a downfield threat at all. When you, when he's not catching a touchdown, he is almost always making the Packers situation worse man have you ever looked at romeo dobbs and is like man this dude he is almost always making the packers situation worse i certainly don't think that why do you think they do why why do you think he does have so many touchdown catches because he is a reliable target and he does win those matches in the in in the red zone guys leave your comments am i putting my head in the sand on this do is romeo dobbs that bad i i think he is i think he's good i think he's a good Receiver, I don't think there is a really bad receiver for the Green Bay Packers, even Christian Watson, who's been disappointing. Guys, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Go, Pack.